So with sufficient pressure and flow rate, you should be able to get 30 feet with your auto device. Now, that depends on a lot of things. It depends on the type of hose that you're using, your source pressure at the house, how many bends and kinks and the length of the hose generally. But the best way to know if you have sufficient water is to take the hose right at where you're gonna install your auto device and make sure that you have at least 5.6 gallons per minute. Now, a really quick way to know that is to fill up a bucket and time it. So let's do that right now. So measuring the uh, flow rate is really simple. So if we need 5.6 gallons per minute, uh, we should be able to fill this five gallon bucket, uh, which is right to the second line here in about 53 seconds. So to do that, uh, we start the water and make sure that all the air is out of the system, uh, out of the hose and all the, all the line. We got a stopwatch, I'm gonna use my phone. And at the same time as putting the water in the bucket, I'm gonna start the timer. And we're gonna watch this timer and make sure that we have uh, five gallons that fills in about 53 seconds. So for me, it took about 50 seconds to fill uh, the five gallon bucket. If you could do better than 53 seconds, that means you have a minimum of 5.6 gallons per minute. And with that, you should be able to reach the maximum range of 30 feet. Your flow rate and pressure at your house is gonna depend on a lot of things. It could depend on the time of day where you, when you measured it, how old your home is, uh, the service size that's coming into your house from your municipality, um, if you're not getting the uh, sufficient 5.6 gallons per minute, you want to make sure that your tap is all the way open, that you're using as large of a diameter hose as you can, and minimizing all the restrictions along that line. So any splitters that you have, any kinks uh, along the, the, the line that you're running it, if you minimize those and measure that again, you should see your gallons per minute or flow rate increase. Measure your flow rate and let us know in the comments section what you got.